we used the uh, Archer myeloid panel and we used a VAF for commutations of 2.7% and asked what impact did the mutations have on patients who got chemo, who got giltritinib, or either, it didn't matter. The, the, the bottom line was, in terms of response rate, it didn't matter. Giltaritinib had a way better response rate than chemotherapy, no matter what group you looked at. Didn't matter which mutation. Uh, but something interesting came up when you actually broke the data down. So uh, if you look at NPM1 mutations, um, overall, in the whole population, they did worse. That's not supposed to happen. They're supposed to do better. They were clearly worse. Okay. They were clearly worse in the patients we were trying to keep treat with chemotherapy. Giltaritinib actually could overcome that worseness. Um, but NPM1 mutations normally are a mitigating effect when you treat with chemo at diagnosis. So treating with chemo at relapse is actually the opposite effect. The allelic ratio pretty much behaved as expected. The more you had, the worse you did, although giltaritinib was actually able to overcome that. Again, the allelic ratio is really a, a reflection of how much tumor you have, and if you present at very advanced stage of disease, it's harder to fix. So giltaritinib did clearly better than chemo. Chemo was pretty hopeless with a high allelic ratio, but even giltaritinib had some trouble with a real high allelic ratio patient compared to low allelic ratio. Then there was a very interesting category of patients who have an NPM1 mutation, a DNMT3A mutation, and of course they had a FLT3 mutation. Those patients were hopeless when treated with chemotherapy, and I mean everybody seemed to die, okay. But with giltaritinib, we actually saw a remarkably impressive response rate, or rather survival rate, a plateau. It looked almost like newly diagnosed AML patients being treated. So this subgroup, which was 25% of the patients enrolled, is a uniquely defined subgroup that says you will really benefit from giltaritinib, and now we, we need to know why. What if we treat those patients up front going forward? Are they going to do better when we fold giltaritinib in up front?